first of all, ask the questions, well, what do we need the skin of a car for anyway? What's it there for? Does it have to be made out of metal? Do we have to make it always in the same manner? Or is it there for different purposes than we thought? Uh, in reality, the aspects of crash and stiffness and ride handling can be handled in a space frame type vehicle entirely without the skin. And therefore, to go away from a metal skin and to have a skin that offers different capabilities, can move, can do things that that a fixed rigid structure couldn't do can be lighter, made out of materials which require less energy to make them. That's something that the GINA-LITE model brings to, as a question. Uh, GINA is an acronym, a set of letters that stand for geometry, shapes, and function, how things work, in N, and as a way of saying infinite number, of adaptations, meaning there's a lot of change possible. This started a whole chain of ideas within the company here that Gina became not just a model that became a shape or just about cloth as a skin. It became about a real a thinking process, a philosophy that said, let's do things differently. Let's let materials talk in a different manner. And let's let tooling be a different issue instead of just the way to give us form. Well, one nice thing about Gina is the materials kind of lead the way. It doesn't take very much and you get an idea exactly what this car is going to be like. Uh, for instance, to get an idea what the sculptural form is between a fender and let's say a wheel arch, you really only need a line around the wheels and a line more or less where you want the fender to be and you'll let the material do the talking in between. And then just like you would if you were getting a suit made, you made the first mock-up, you made the first uh, forms and patterns, you sewed it up, you tried it out, made another one a little bit closer and when you finally got the final one, zip, you put it on. It takes about two hours to put the skin on this car. Emotion is really the added value to this. I mean, one way is saying you get better function or you get better alternative ways of doing things, but really we want to achieve a higher and emotional plane out of this. And then finally, and I think this is to me one of the most importantly, and that is the level of, of humanistic content that we can bring with Gina in. Gina should be about the human in the loop, the human way of doing things. The Gina philosophy, in its short form, is about being flexible. Thinking flexible, acting flexible, context over dogma, that's it.